Hi everyone, it's Miss Nicole. I'm the children's librarian at the Cicero Library and I'm here today with another batch of home cooked art. That's art you can make with stuff from your kitchen. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen today. I'm in the library. Um, and the reason I'm able to do this here is this is the one project in our home cook art, cooked art series that is not that messy. Um, I don't have any gloopy things or any things that can stain. It's really simple. Today we're going to make aluminum foil sculptures. So we really only need just a few things for that. We need aluminum foil. I have a big piece right here, but any size works. And you'll need a pair of scissors, probably. And this isn't strictly necessary, but it's helpful to have a pencil. Um, that just lets you mark out on your sheet where you want to cut with your scissors before you start cutting. Um, so to make a, an aluminum foil sculpture, you can do a couple of things. You can just take a sheet of aluminum foil and start playing with it as if it were Play-Doh. I recommend doing this at first just so you can see how it behaves um, and what shapes you can do with it. The key with working with aluminum foil is that you want to be kind of gentle about scrunching at least at the beginning um, because it's really easy to go too far and scrunch something down really hard and then once it's all scrunched together you can't do much with it, it only that's as far as it'll go. So if you can be gentle with it that let, lets you kind of adjust things as you go. Um, you can of course squish it all together when you've got a shape that you like. Um, so today I'm going to try making, uh, let's see, I'm going to try making a person today and I'll do a close up here so you can see kind of what I'm doing to my foil um, when I'm marking it out to, to, to mark out the arms and the legs and the body and the head. Okay, so if you're trying to make a person or an animal or any other figure that has you know, that's not a snake or that has more than one part or limb, you want to kind of think about what parts of the body are big and what parts of the body are small. Like, for instance, with people, our legs are a lot longer than our head is, um, and our arms are kind of long and skinny compared to the middle of our body. So, um, unless, you know, if you're making something like a turtle, Here's a turtle right here. You can see this turtle sort of um, has a big body and tiny little legs. So think and plan a little bit what you want your figure to look like. I'm gonna try and do a person. Um, so let's see. We'll need a body, which will be in the middle, pretty large. We'll definitely need legs that are long. So these two sections are gonna be my legs. I'm gonna draw a a uh, line here so I know to cut and then I'll have two legs. We'll need two arms that are long. We'll need a head. So here's, let's see. And you can see I'm not actually drawing the arms or anything. I'm just kind of guessing at how much foil I'm gonna need for each of these parts. Uh, legs are pretty big, so I'm gonna make sure we have enough foil for the legs. This stuff on the side, I'm actually not going to cut away any foil. I'm just kind of dividing it up based on how much I want to use for each body part. So we'll have a head here, um, some arms here, the middle parts will go to the body, and then the legs down here. Okay, so let me just quickly make some cuts. And if you Sorry if this is loud. If you mess this up, uh, it's pretty forgiving as long as you're gentle and you go slow. So don't, don't panic. All right, I'm gonna cut out my legs. Cut, cut, cut. Let's see. All right, my arms up here. And this middle part will kind of be my head. Okay, so this doesn't really look like much yet, but I'm going to start scrunching it and it'll start to look more like a person. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is scrunch up the leg. Again, you can see I'm not scrunching it really tightly. I'm just kind of get, getting them, getting them in rough chunks. All right, so this part is gonna go to the middle to be the body. There we go, there's my legs and my body. Up here are my arms. There we go. And right here is the head. Okay, so you can kind of see it sort of looks like a sort of roughly person shape. Okay, so that's, that's, that's my basic shape. I'm going to slow down here because the more that I scrunch, um, the tighter it gets, the less chance I have to position it. So, okay, so I have my rough person shape. And honestly, I could stop here if I wanted. Um, it won't stand up by itself unless you tape it to cardboard or paper or the table. Um, but this is kind of cool as it is. Now, if you want it to be more realistic and smaller, you can start to scrunch it up. And again, I'm going really slowly because it's usually easier to easy to scrunch more. It's really hard to unscrunch foil if you've scrunched it up tight. So I am um, looking just kind of all right. Now my head's a little the head's a little bit rounder. Flatten out the body a little bit. Okay. Squish the arms up. Squish the legs a little more. Kind of wishing I made the legs a little thicker and stronger, but that's okay. All right, I've got some feet. Okay. So, there we go. Now, you can kind of pose this person if you want. You can bend their arms. See if I can make him dab. There we go. He's dabbing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, again, it's not going to stand up unless you tape it down. But you can keep squishing if you want. The more you squish, the smaller it will and thicker and stronger it will get. Um, but you can't unsquish it, so don't overdo it. There you go. Ah, sculpture. And there you have it. Now you can do all kinds of uh, shapes with this. It doesn't have to be a figure, um, but that's a good way to start to sort of explore the material and figure out what you want to do with it. Um, and if you, it turns out that you, there's a part that's not strong enough or thick enough, you can always take some extra foil and sort of mold it around and make it bigger and stronger. It's, it's pretty easy to add more. It's hard to take away once you've added. So there you have it. Aluminum foil sculptures. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you happen to make something really cool with that activity, please share it with us below um, in either a picture or a comment. Um, be sure to check out our website, that's nopl.org, for more great activities, and I will see you next week with another batch of home-cooked art. Have a great day!